right click on the project name and choose transient magnetic. Click on the coupling analysis tab and check motion coupling. At this point we are ready to couple the EMS study to the SOLIDWORKS motion study. Under motion coupling choose the desired SOLIDWORKS motion study. Selected the moving components which are the rotors and the magnets. Under band component, choose the band which is the air surrounding the moving parts from all sides. Please refer to EMS help to learn more about the band. Click OK. That's it and that's all it takes to couple an EMS study to SOLIDWORKS motion. Let's apply the material for each body. The stator is coreless. The material for the outer air, inner air and band is air. The coils are obviously made up of copper. The material for the magnets is N4212. The material for the rotors is mild steel. The magnets have a strength and direction. To set the direction, right click on a magnet part and choose coercivity direction. Choose the Y direction. Click OK. Alternate the coercivity direction between plus Y and Y for neighboring magnets. To add a coil, right click on the coils icon and choose wound coil. In selected entities, choose the bodies that make up the coil. Under Entry Port, select an interface. Under Exit Port, click Same as Entry Port. Click on General Properties tab and enter 15 for AWG and 180 for the number of turns. Click on the Current Source tab and choose Sinusoidal Current Source. Type 0 for DF, 50 for Frequency, 30 for IA, 0 for IO, and minus 0.004 for TD. Click OK. Repeat the same procedure for the other two coils. All input variables are the same except for the time delay TD. It should be minus 0.01066666 for coil 2 and minus 0.01733333 for coil 3. All the pre-processing is now complete, and we are ready to run the transient magnetic study coupled to motion. Right click on the study name and choose run. Solving will take around 15 minutes on a laptop since it is a transient study coupled to motion. Let's instead examine existing studies that were run previously. We have the results for 8 studies. Studies 1 to 3 are on load current driven analyzes with a rotor speed of 500 rpm and a frequency of 50 hertz using different magnet materials, neodymium, ceramic, and samarium magnets are used in studies 1, 2, and 3 respectively. We will demonstrate the effect of the magnets on the output torque. Study 4 is no load analysis with neodymium magnets. Study 5 is an on-load voltage driven analysis with an additional coupling to circuits. 
Steady 6 is an on-load current-driven analysis with an additional coupling to steady-state thermal and core loss function in the rotors. Studies 7 and 8 are again on-load current-driven analyzes. The speed of the rotor is 1000 RPM for study 7 and 500 RPM for study 8. The effect of the speed on the eddy loss will be demonstrated. Let's examine the results of study 1 in some details and then compare the results among the studies later. After the run is complete, results folder is created and contains different type of results. Double click on results table to examine lump circuit and mechanical quantities as well as motion results, including force, torque, back EMF, resistance, inductance, flux linkage, current, and energy for each time step or each motion position. All of the results table quantities are plottable as function of time or position. For example, click on the TY torque component and click add in the parameters field. Click on pop-up plot. The plot of TY versus time appears. You can track it, smooth it, print it and export it. You may equally view the listing by clicking on its icon as shown which you can save in different formats. Follow the same steps to plot any of the table quantities. For example, let's plot the back EMF or the induced voltage for all the coils. To plot the motion parameters, click plot at the bottom of the table as shown. It shows the angular displacement of the moving bodies as function of time. You may also plot the velocity and acceleration. To close the results table, click close. The magnetic flux density and magnetic field folders contain the near flux density and magnetic fields in the entire model. From the magnetic flux density folder, we can create different types of plots. Fringe, vector, streamline and 2D plot. Right click on the magnetic flux density folder and add choose 3D fringe plot no clipping. The magnitude of the magnetic flux density is color-coded where the red color is the maximum and the blue color is the minimum, as shown on the legend on the right side of the plot. Click on different time step. The values change. Click OK. Right-click on the plot icon and animate. Right-click on the Magnetic Flux Density folder and add Choose 3D Fringe Plot Section Clipping. Check Plot on Section Only. Click OK. Right-click on the Section Plot and Animate Versus Time. Right-click on the section plot again and animate versus section cut this time. Right-click on the magnetic flux density folder and add choose 3D vector plot no clipping. Click OK. Right-click on the vector plot icon and animate as shown.
Right click on the magnetic flux density folder and add choose 2D plot linear. In the graphic area, click on several points on the model, as shown. The magnetic flux density plot between segments appears. All the plot performed on the flux density can equally be applied on the magnetic field, applied current density, and force density. So much for the field plots. You may generate a report that summarizes all of your work. Right click on reports folder and generate. Customize your report and choose either HTML or words format. Click OK. Let's now compare the results from different studies. While holding the control key down select studies 1 to 3. Right click and compare results. Click on the TY torque component and click add in the parameters field. Click on pop-up plot. The plot of TY versus time appears. As you can see the effect of the magnets on the output is significant where the neodymium magnet gives the largest torque. Samarium is the second while the ceramic is the last. Follow the same steps to compare the back EMF which also follows the same behavior as the torque. Let's now examine the no load analysis. Double click on the results table and plot the TY component following the same procedure outlined earlier. Since it is a no load analysis, this torque is the cogging torque which is relatively small. You can also plot the induced voltage or the back EMF in the three coils. As expected, the voltages of the three coils are 120 degrees out of phase. Let's now examine the voltage driven with coupling to circuit study. Double click on the schematic to view the electric circuit used. Double click on the results table and plot the induced current in the three coils. As you can see, the induced current in coils 1 and 3 have almost the same magnitude but 60 degrees out of phase whereas coil 2 has a slightly larger current and also with a phase difference 60 and 120 degrees from coils 1 and 3 respectively. The torque oscillates around 30 newton meter. As for the core loss, it oscillates around 13,000 watts. Let's examine now the steady state thermal aspects of the machine. EMS has an integrated thermal solver where the thermal loads due to magnetic and current losses are automatically passed to the thermal solver without the user intervention, hence no need to export or import any files or data, and the only thermal boundary condition is the convection to be applied in the air region. The results are also integrated right in the same feature manager tree where both magnetic and thermal results are readily available at your fingertip. 
since we have seen already how to visualize and analyze the magnetic results previously, we shall jump straight to the thermal results. Right click on the temperature folder and choose 3D fringe plot no clipping. The temperature varies from around 57 to 83 degrees Celsius. Depending on the design such temperature may be deemed inappropriate. The magnets themselves do not have any loss but since they are in contact with the rotors, they heat up through the thermal conduction mechanism. Again, depending on the magnets used, such temperature may indeed demagnetize the magnets. Last but not least, let's examine the effect of the rotor speed on the eddy loss in the rotors. While holding the control key down, click on the 1000 RPM and 500 RPM studies. Right click and compare results. Click on the solid loss tab. Since the loss is the same in both rotors, let's compare the results for just one of them. Clearly, the 1000 RPM yields higher solid or eddy loss than the 500 RPM study. Upon examining the back EMF, it is also higher for 1000 RPM. To conclude, EMS coupled to SOLIDWORKS Motion and Electric Circuits offers you one-stop design platform where you can look at all design aspects of an axial flux machine in one single integrated environment. The results presented are just few from a plethora of valuable design parameters that can guide you in optimizing your axial flux machine and other electric machines.